Mary ha- Hayashi. Good evening. I'm Assembly Member Mary Hayashi. I'd like to thank the Eden Township District Trustees for allowing me to speak to you. Her nose is the same shape as her message. like upper blouse thing. Embarrassing incident for wow, that must be a fashion Mary trend. She resurfaced today. She pleaded no contest to shoplifting. Resurfaced. The they were floating beneath the surface there for a while. For state Senate. Video of that incident has been <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see it. In her defense to 2011 shoplifting charges, Mary Hayashi said she was distracted by her cell phone and didn't realize she'd walked out of the Union Square, Neiman Marcus, with $2,500 in clothing she Damn. hasn't paid for. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, she's been diagnosed with a brain tumor. <laughs> oh, damn. The best defense ever. Said for sure. Her brain is dead weight. <laughs> How many years ago was that? She still looks like she's doing fine. The day of the incident. Oh, I had a brain tumor one. She was even looking at the cell phone. She just dipped. Yeah, but she could hear it. She had Pandora going. <laughs> what the hell? How do you get $2,500 worth of clothes in those little shopping bags? At least it was a decent place, I guess. Yeah. Neiman Marcus. You don't like it when they get ripped off. Oh, she is being distracted by the phone. Like a drone following her around, or what? Oh shit! <laughs> Dang! Bitch, I know you took it. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. Well, we, we can I move really... on as soon as he answered my uh, question in a straightforward way. Okay. Uh, was the medical condition a factor? And you shoplifting $2,500 worth of goods from No, I did not shoplift $2,500 of goods. I offered to pay for them immediately. I apologized to them. I tried to tell them that. What? You Perfectly know, reasonable. I made a mistake of inadvertently being outside. Leave Mary store. alone! I did not, you know, I did not tell them that, you know, I want to take them or, you know, run with them. I immediately apologized. But. Swift fingered Hayashi. It's down like that. Okay, so. It's you have to draw your own conclusion about what happened, and I think your paper has written lots about it. And so I'm here today because I want to talk about the issues. Well, here's, here's <laughs> why it's an issue, with all due respect, Mary. Right now we have, uh, in, in terms of criminals in the state senate, we have two senators under indictment. We have one who's been mm-hmm. convicted of yeah, felonies. two. That sounds reasonable. Uh, you yeah. would, if you were elected, yeah, that's go it. in on probation. As a result, we have three senators who could not vote. So I think it's reasonable. Why that can't people I vote? Would, it, I said we have three who cannot vote right now. Right. So, so the question is, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of Californians are apprehensive about uh, have electing another senator who has a criminal record. Oh man, I'm in Wisconsin and I'm apprehensive. You still have a straightforward answer to my question: whether the medical condition was the factor in your shoplifting. And if indeed it was, if you have a medical condition that makes it hard to distinguish between right and wrong, should you be voting? Jeez. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, man. <laughs> 